began to not even hear the voice of the Lord. My God, my God, amen. Because if you really understood, amen, what the blood consists of, if you really understood in this day and hour, amen, uh, that the blood of Jesus Christ is crying now in this generation, is trying to wake up his people, saying, wake up, church. My God, my God. Because I know in my life, amen, uh, I don't want his blood to cry out, my God. I don't want it to be in vain anymore, amen. Uh, hallelujah, Jesus. See, the blood performs many important functions within the body, including it supplies oxygen and nutrients. Yes. Right. Amen. We all know that he is the bread of life, and he is the bread of life. My God, Amen. that is the oxygen and the nutrients that the blood supplies. Yeah. Amen. It, we know that it removes waste. Amen. In the body, <clears throat> it has immunological functions like circulation of the good blood cells and detect of detection of foreign material, meaning that if something, amen, foreign comes inside, your body will react, amen, to that foreign material, my God. It transports heat and prevents heat loss, amen. It, there was also another thing, it was called coagulation self-repair mode, amen. That's the blood clotting after an open wound, amen. It regulates core body temperature and the hydraulic functions movement in the body, amen. And it also has messenger functions, signaling of tissue damage, amen. And we all know that the blood contains energy, my God. We can use that in a spiritual sense, amen. That the blood, amen, that flows from Calvary supplies the bread and bread of life, amen. It removes the waste, amen, from our body, my God. It circulates, amen, throughout the bloodstream, my God. It detects the foreign material. It transports heat, my God. That fire that should be burning inside of us, my God. And it prevents the heat loss, amen. Sometimes we go cold, amen. Sometimes we grow weary, my God. Sometimes we get cold, amen. But the blood, amen, prevents that heat loss, my God. It kicks in, amen, into self-repair mode, amen. I don't know about you, my God, but I get excited, amen. Thinking about the blood, amen. As I was praying, amen, I began to think about the blood, amen. And tears begin to roll down, amen. Because I understand, my God, that something had to happen, amen. On that old rugged cross, in the name of Jesus, my God. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus, my God. You see, after an open wound, amen, it will begin to heal, my God. It will begin to heal that open wound. It will begin to clot, amen. In the name of Jesus, you see, that blood will keep on flowing, amen. When there is a wound, my God, like happened to me yesterday, my God, the blood kept on flowing and kept on flowing because it detects, my God, that something, amen, is wrong within the body, amen. You see, amen, and also, amen, my God, it also regulates the hydraulic movement, amen, in the body of Christ, amen. When something becomes limp, amen, when many becomes immovable, my God, that blood, amen, will begin to flow, amen, will begin to go back and forth, my God, that way your body, amen, can worship the Lord, amen, that way your body can move in the physical, my God, but also, amen, we know that the body of Christ, my God, oh, Jesus, hallelujah, Lord God, with that blood, amen, that flows, amen, it makes us movable, that's why I will understand sometimes when we come to church and we say we are the body of Christ and we claim, amen, to be a people of his name, my God. And we come to have the blood, my God. But we sit down, amen, it's so immovable sometimes, amen, so irresponsive, my God, that we don't, amen, understand that the flow of the Spirit is here. Hallelujah, Jesus. My God, my God. Hallelujah, Jesus. The importance, amen, 
of the blood and when it cries, amen. The blood has a voice, amen, in this hour. My God. Hallelujah, Jesus. I love it. It said it has messenger functions. Yes, sir. Amen. It's signaling throughout the body, amen, that something is wrong. It's pricking, amen, back and forth. All right. It goes from the room, from, from the womb, all the way up, amen, to the head. Something is not flowing right. Something is open. I must repair it. Come on. My God. My God, my God. Amen, amen. I noticed that there was a time, the second time I went to California, amen, that my sister rushed my mom to the hospital and she had lost a lot of blood. And the doctor had told my sister that they had pumped more blood than she needed. And you should see my mom that she went from being really low, amen, to all of a sudden having a lot of energy. Right. That's one thing I learned, amen. And when I was reading the description of blood, that blood contains the energy right. in this hour, the energy, right. amen, all right. All right. that the church needs in this hour. Yeah. Amen. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. See, when there's something wrong in the body, yeah. it calls for blood testing. Yeah. Yeah. That's the first thing when you go to the hospital, amen. You're probably going to need blood work done. Yeah. I've been there yeah. and passed out many times, amen, because I don't do well, amen, <laughs> with getting blood drawn out. But there's a lesson, amen, to learn amen. that every time, amen, the blood is drawn out, there's a weakness, my God, All right. Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. in the body. I thought it was interesting how dehydration causes blood volume reduction. All right. You see, amen, he came by water and blood. And if you really, amen, understand that he is the living water, and without the living water, amen, the blood can stop flowing also. Right. And the plasma in your blood consists, amen, mainly of water. Uh -huh. right. My God. Yeah. But you see, sometimes... We need a blood transfusion, amen. Right, come on. And a blood transfusion calls for a blood donation from the source or the blood bank, amen. amen. My God, you see, sometimes we are lacking, amen, in that blood, in that blood flow. Sometimes, and I was thinking, what can cause the lack of blood to flow many times in our life? And, and you see, you see, when you get that blood transfusion, you must, amen, be compatible with that blood type. But if you continue in sin, sometimes, amen, sometimes it blocks that, it hinders, amen, the blood from flowing. Right, right. Not that the blood, amen, doesn't have the power, amen, but you, amen, regulate how much blood, my God you have in your life. You see, blood is of no effect when sin is present until applied, amen. It becomes wasted. Romans 6, 23, it says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. You see, he became an atonement, my God. John 1, 29, it says, the next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him, and saith, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Yes. First Peter 1.19 says, But with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. You see, blood is a protector of the body. Amen. We are the body, but it is his blood that flows from Calvary. First Corinthians 10, 16. It says, the cup of blessing which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? Amen. You see, the body and the blood flow together or they go together my God not only amen biological but spiritually my God when you take on the name amen you take on the blood amen you see 
am not named Condi for a reason, for no reason, my God. But when I take the name, amen, of my father, I also take, my God, yes. his genes and the blood, amen. Yes. 